Hello. Ding just managed to have a very successful frame as he sits there examining his fingernails and also thinking about what's to come next. You have decided to join me today watching a bit of snooker. Maybe something has gone wrong in your life or you just enjoy watching a few men knock some balls around. We have Jay Trump, a man very unfortunate to share a name with our presidential candidate and he's hit that ball down the table. Not sure what his intentions were there. It's a very good shot. However, Ding, he's taking on a bit of an accessory here. Oh, sorry, that was Trump. I get mixed up sometimes. Five balls just spread out on the table like a picnic enjoyed by a couple of dwarfs. Ding here. He's examining the shot. He's putting his cue there. Examining the angle. He's doing the maths. Very successful maths student Ding was as a child before he was forced in a child labor camp to play snooker every day. Oh, he's going for this red here. The yellow's in the way. I don't know if he's going to do a trick shot here. To oh, he's curled the ball. No, he's off the... Oh, it's a very interesting shot there from Ding. A very unconventional shot as he's giving Trump an entrance into the game here. The game is taking place over the course of two weeks. We have 130 frames to play. This is the seventh frame. You don't know that. You don't know much about this, I'm guessing. Trump here, he's examining. He's got about 16 balls to hit. Which one is he going to choose? He's chose that one. Only he will know why. And the white ball has traveled all the way up to the top of the table, providing Ding with a very challenging situation here. So, hope you all are having a very fun and exciting time watching the snooker today. Thanks for joining us. If you have joined us so far, you haven't missed much. It's just been like this for the past three hours. Ding there with an audacious attempt to hit that red ball from across the table. <sighs> Who does he think he is? The white, white ball is... Oh! Very close to going into the hole there. The crowd is clapping. It's very close. Ding looks up to the heavens thinking, why did I do that? Trump here, even though Ding has allowed him the opportunity, he's trying to play it safe, providing Ding with another opportunity to smash this cue ball down the table, provide the crowd with a bit of excitement in their lives as they have actually paid real money to sit in this room and watch them play snooker from afar. Not sure if there are television screens for them to see what's happening up close. Who knows if they can actually see the balls. Maybe they're just there for the uh, atmosphere. Who knows at this point. Maybe they're paid to be there. Probably to try and save a dying sport. It's not dying. There are plenty of people that are interested in this. As you can see the sponsors up there. On the top, CCTV sponsors them. Thought that's just cameras that try to capture people stealing stuff. Ding there! Hitting the red ball into the other red balls. It's a party of red balls here. There's about 10 of them to choose to hit right now. And if you are new to this sport, I can't be bothered to explain it to you. You have to hit the red balls in first. And then you get to hit a colored ball. And then it just repeats like that until you win so here we go trump he's got a nice shot lined up here and he's hit it with power what the fuck was that excuse me excuse my language i normally don't swear but that was absolutely ridiculous he's given ding an opportunity to jump in here he's sprinting over to the table he's so happy with his little blow tie he's putting a little chalk onto the tip of his cue a man very proficient with this stick as Trump in the background strokes his chin. Wow! Look at that. He's hit it in with quite some force. It was rather unnecessary. He could have just hit it a bit softer. But he wanted to guarantee that a uh, bit of flair. Ding has always been a bit of a flair player here. As he's opting to hit the green. We all know the green is better than yellow. More points. Oh, and the ball has traveled backwards. That is a very... uh. Interesting choice of shot there. You hit the bottom of the ball. It spins backwards. It's very, 
very special technique that these snooker players employ. What's he doing over on that side? The uh, referee looks just as confused as me. Maybe he thought for a minute he was trying to hit one of the red balls. That was very... It looked like he's going to hit this red ball as the camera zooms in on it. Right there in the center of your screen, that one. He's going to hit that one. But he's taking his time. He's thinking about what's next. Snooker is all about planning your next move. Just like in life. You have to plan your next move. He strokes the chin onto the stick to provide that power. He's gone for that red there. Very nice. Very nice shot. The referee is walking around to this side now. Not sure why. He, does, he doesn't really know where to stand, I think. He's going for the blue now. Color of Trump's eyes. Strokes it in. Brilliant. I hear the referees come to put the blue ball back. Right there. Very nice. Ding. Known in his country as... Ding, the snooker man. Oh, that was a very nice shot, putting that red into the corner there. He's putting more chalk onto the tip of his you Don't You don't want any accidents to happen. Oh, he's going for the black. Maximum points here. Brilliant. Now he's only got about 10 to 12 red balls left before he sends Trump back home packing. Representing Asia, he's... Making sure his tits do not touch that red ball. If he touches that red ball, he will be disqualified from the tournament. Sent back home to China. Embarrassed. He'd be made fun of for weeks. Did you see Ding touch that red ball in the tournament? My God. All those years of training. And to have your nipple touch a red ball and get disqualified. How embarrassing would that be? My theory of why people watch this sport, it's a bunch of old ladies. They like to see some young, s s flexible men bend over tables like that, stick their butt out. Very nice angles. It's a miracle they haven't monetized this sport to have some flexible... So what's, what's the word? It's not often words fail me. Suck, not subtle. Supple? Supple woman. That's it. Some young, supple woman bend over and hit some balls around the table. Another red goes in. It's a fantastic opportunity for Ding to extend his lead to 36 0. He's absolutely dominating this match. And the blue goes in just as easy as the rest. However, we do have. These four red balls in the middle there. What's he going to do with them right now? It looks like he's going to absolutely smash into them right now. Bang! Spreads them out just a little bit. Just teasing them out into a little triple formation there. He's going for the pink. Put the pink in the stink right in the middle there. As the referee stands right behind him. Making sure his butt is in full view of the audience. There we go. I've, this is still very interesting. He's going for another red here into the corner. Easy as you like. Easy. Like wiping your butt. It's that easy for him. He's done this so many times. It just comes naturally. I bet he could close his eyes and do it. As some people close their eyes to wipe their butts. Oh, referee just swiped to the air there. Probably a few flies. Not the best conditions here for these snooker players. Flies could end their tournament. If a fly was to fly into your mouth as you were hitting the final ball in the final frame of a three-week long tournament. Imagine that. You'd get PTSD for flies. Whenever you see a fly, you just freak out, get flashbacks. Back to that moment where the referee can't reach from there. What's he even trying to do? He's going to reach from the other side of the table there. Very inexperienced referee we have today. He's getting his opportunity to referee this match. As Trump's still sitting there in the same position as he was. 
maybe we should just bring a Nintendo DS or something while this is all going on as ding. It's just a one-man show at the moment. Trump doesn't even need to be here, to be honest. Ooh! That was a very risky maneuver there. Trump's looking on like, shit, I got shit to do, man. The fuck is that? What's down there? Is my shoe untied? Ding! With one legged shot here. The referee's looking on in amazement. How is this happening? The man has so much skill there, he doesn't even need two feet to do that. Brilliant. Ding! Putting these balls into the pockets like Trump putting the hopes and dreams of a country into his pockets. As people say, he's grabbing the country by the pussy. Ding here. He's going to hit another red in. When is this man going to stop? When is it all going to end? When all the balls go into the pockets? My goodness, Trump sitting there thinking, am I going to get a point at least? Just one. I can't go home without any points. The referee's getting in the way there. Ding just wants to get on with stuff. He's got better shit to do. Oh, is that going to fall short? No. For a minute there, I thought it would. But the man, perfect technique. The perfect amount of power and follow through right there. As I just take a drink of water. Ugh. One gets thirsty commentating on such an exciting game. And he's missed! I wasn't even looking! The referee's looking at his watch like, You took f so fucking long, dude. It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm out of here. I've already won. As he's gone off stage. Of course. Oh, and there's Trump missing another shot. My goodness. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us on this day. As uh, we had a lot of excitement. And I, uh, yeah. Who knows, the, the second I take a drink of water and look away from the screen, Ding would miss a shot. And the audience is, they're literally just on their phones there. Look, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, This has been some snooker. Burger King is sponsored Trump. <coughs> I'll see you in the next one, everyone. <laughs> uh, take care and peace out.